Alright guys, well, I just got RPG Maker um, XP, so I'm going to be making tutorials on it very often. Maybe not with audio, but I will add an annotations on YouTube or just screen text. Now, I'm going to show you a basic event with switches. So, let me just use one of these maps. I'll make a new map. Switch map. Oops, spelled that wrong. Switch map. There you go. Now I'll do overworld 20 by 15. Alright, now let's just add some grass. If you're not using a starter kit, you don't really have to. Uh, Paco starter kit from Pokemon Community. You don't really have to, but I'm make in the middle of making a Pokemon game, so it will be released. So please don't send me messages. The like five of you that watch my videos. All right, now that we got the trees everywhere. Let me just zoom out. Alright. Okay. Now, let's just do. We don't need to add all the details of all this stuff. Um, click this uh, box right here, and it'll pop up a whole bunch of little transpa translucent gray boxes. Now, just double click any box. I just did it sort of in the middle. You'll see graphic. If you're not using RPG Maker, you'll see graphics like these, similar to graphics like these. Well, if you're not using the starter kit, I'm sorry. You'll see stuff like this. If you are using the starter kit, you'll see a lot of like battling trainers, like battle sprites with trainers. Uh, you won't see that. And you'll see a lot of these. Now, what I recommend is on PokemonCommunity.com to go on the resources and you'll see Fan King Omega's Overworld Sprites. Now, I downloaded that and you get a whole bunch of Fire Red and Leaf Green Overworld Sprites. Now, let's just do... Um, uh, a Snorlax. So he's blocking the road. Well, if we're gonna do a Snorlax, we have to do no other way to pass by the Snorlax. So let me just do that. And I'll add a whole bunch of boulders going away too, and just add a whole bunch of boulders. There is a way to pass by. Alright. Now we do this. We double click make sure it's on action button it's usually set there by default double click this little a with the greater than sign um show text I should do a whole bunch of z's and a whole bunch of dot dots right. now we're going to i'm just going to make a new switch um, Snorlax. Alright, but before we want to do anything, I'm sorry, let me just zoom in on this. Okay. Alright, now. Just insert something and do a conditional branch. Now, p click this arrow right here. And pick your switch. And then you can put if it's on or off. If it's this is pretty much saying if if it's on, then this will it'll, the event will do this. This will happen right here. If it's not on, this will happen right here. So if it's not on, we want this. No, let's copy this. 
can actually delete that now. And let's just delete this for now. I don't know why I put that there. Let's no, actually, sorry. Let's put, let's make a new switch. You know what, you don't even have to make a new switch. Just make this. Maybe this right here. Just delete that. Since I'm holding the microphone, I can't really do shift and control and all that. Alright, now just do flute is on. If it is, then uh, turn self switch A on. You'll see that right here, self switch A. You just you can pick any self switch. It's easy if you do A, it won't affect the game. Now just do a new event page. So you'll have two event pages right there. And um, you can name your event too if you want to. I choose not to. And again, do your graphic. No, you don't need your graphics. But this will only work if you have this on. Self switch A is on. And now double click. No, you don't need any events. Uh, turn self switch A on. So by saying that. It turns this on, which jumps to the next page, which and self switch A is on. Now, and since it's not, and now we're gonna work on if the switch isn't on. It snores and shows choices. Do you want on a yes or no? And th what this says, some people get confused. When cancel, like when you press X and you don't want to pick any choices, it goes to no, which does nothing. But first, let's add in some text. Would you like to use the Poké Flute? I can't type today. Alright, would you like to use the poker flute? But first, we're gonna. Hmm. No. Yeah. Whatever, this could say it's flute, but it's not really flute. Snorlax is awake. Yeah, let's just do. If, it, if Snorlax is awake. It's on. If it's not, would you like to use the... Just do a conditional branch for the flute one. Now let's just make flute. Sorry if I confused you. So pretty much this is what you should have. Let me zoom in on that. Conditional branch. Awake is on. And then self switch A. And then conditional branch flute is on. And what they should just do cut, paste, cut this, paste it bef like on top of that so it'll go before. And then cut, paste. And if you don't have it, then nothing will happen. Yes. Then if it's yes, it turns self switch A on. Which again brings it to this page right here with no graphic. And if no, then nothing will happen. Now, well let's put a one secret boulder that has it. Let's do this boulder. Action button. If you don't have um if you don't have RPG maker, you'll do I mean, if you don't have the starter kit, you'll do change items and do the item. Just make another item increase one. And then you'll do, you'll turn, you'll put self switch A on. And then you'll do this. Same thing like last time, self switch A on. It won't interact with the other 